Would you agree that an average CEO reads one book per week or like 52 books per year? Do you want to know how do you consume a lot of information fast without spending a lot of money? In this video, I'm going to show you how do you read two times faster without sacrificing your comprehension. Come on. Hello entrepreneurs, this is Fibolem, your online marketing coach. In this channel, we publish weekly content that will help you acquire more customers and grow your business online. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Don't forget to ring the bell button so that every time we publish new videos, you're gonna get notified. Before we proceed, I wanna invite you to my free masterclass where I walk you through exactly how do you acquire leads and prospects online and convert those prospects into paying customers without talking to them in person. There's a link right here. Visit fibolem.com slash class to register for a free seat. Now, to give you like a backstory on this, ako yung tipong tao na hindi ako mahilig magbasa. Like, reading for me is one of the things that I don't like to do talaga. Like, the thing is, every time I had a book before, uh, my mom used to like buy me ice cream if I could finish one book but that never happened in my, in my entire life because it's really hard for me to understand and I read very 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 slow so I think one of the first books that I read was like it's a business book called Rich Dad Poor Dad and it took me months months to, to finish this book and uh, the problem is hindi ko nga naintindihan in depth like naintindihan ko lang yung money and, and rich and wealth. So yun lang naintindihan ko. Basta alam ko na yung libro na yun pang payaman. <laughs> and it took me like, I, I had to read it like three, five times, three to five times for me to understand the book. And and since then, I've, I've read books about Bo Sanchez, Chinkitan, and it was a much easier read. No? Kasi mas simple yung, yung language nila, may pagkataglish yung iba. So mas maintindihan ko, mas simple yung English compared sa mga American books. Hindi, hindi ko naintindihan yung mga sinasabi, yung mga, mga highfalutin words na ginagamit nila, right? So that's how I started my reading journey. I would say na it would take me one month for me to finish a book. It's a short book, mga 100 plus pages na. If I'm gonna, I, I can't read fast. I cannot comprehend. Until I notice, I realize na importante talaga magbasa. Especially when you're in an entrepreneurship or in business. Because there's a lot of business books, okay? There's a lot of good business books. Maybe in another content, another video, I'm gonna share with you my top 10 business books, no? But in this video, I'm gonna show you how do you read faster. And, and, and this came from a question from one of my leaders in our community because we have like a community of entrepreneurs where we talk with each other, have this accountability call, and they ask Nona, Coach, how do you read fast? And so I'm okay, good topic. I'm gonna create a content for that. So anyways, and, and this is the content for it. This started when during the pandemic, when everything is on, 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 on lockdown and I was watching Netflix after Netflix after Netflix and sabi ko, okay, I wanna do something productive. Minsan kasi tinatamad ako magtrabaho, so like, instead of watching a movie or something like that, like, why don't I read? Okay, but the problem is, I, it's so hard to read kasi I have to, yung brain power ko, kailangan talaga mag magandar talagang, I, I have to exert a lot of effort understanding the words until I discovered a way on how to read faster. Uh, two times faster, in fact, without sacrificing your comprehension. Instead, it actually increases your comprehension and without exerting more effort. I'm gonna share with you two apps that I use. Number one is Kindle. Number two is Audible. Now guys, literally, I'm shortcutting your success because I learned this by myself and like I'm just giving it to you right now. So all I'm asking, most probably when you apply the, the tips, the concepts that I'm sharing to you, all I'm asking is share with me how your life has changed implementing this. I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna save you years, right? Not just based on reading, but because of the information that na you mo kaagad, instead of getting the knowledge and learning from your own experience, you're getting the learning from other people's experience. Like it, 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 it will really shortcut your success. Okay. So going back, so I used two apps, no, Kindle and Audible. And before, I used to buy a lot of books, like physical books. Okay. Uh, ngayon, I, I just buy it just for display. But most probably, I buy most of my books. Uh, using my iPad. So I'm, I'm using an iPad or if you don't have one, you can use your phone. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna share my screen to show you like how does Kindle look like. Okay, so this is how Kindle looks like. 
and it's just an app you can just search it on on your app store or apple store or whatever uh kindle and uh it's it's an it's it's an app own, owned by amazon so if you would want to to buy a book it's i'm talking about ebooks okay you would have to go to amazon and like search for that book so let's say we're gonna search you know rich dad poor dad uh, book and then you're gonna buy it here okay so for example in this case uh, ganun. so when you buy this book it's gonna go to your kindle app and you, you read it there and later on i'm gonna share with you why the kindle app is really good for me because uh, it helps me read faster it helps me understand better comprehend better and i can put some notes highlights etc but anyways uh, before that no, we, we would need to buy a book first so um Merong dalawang option here, by the way. Uh, meron kasi silang Kindle Unlimited, wherein you just pay, I think it's like $10 a month, and then meron kang 10 books or 5 books ata na, na libre. So you can, you know, you, you can read unlimited books for like 500 pesos. But for others, meron books na you, you would have to pay for the book individually. So if you think of it, if you pay Kindle, usually mas mura yung Kindle versus the paperback. So in this case, uh, yung Kindle ni Robert Kiyosaki is just like $2. Pero yung paperback is like uh, 8 or $9. Ay, taka, $22 pala, $23. No? So, mas mahal siya. And minsan kasi, when we have like a lot of books, uh, we, we can't bring it anywhere. Okay, so if, if nasa plane tayo, we can only bring one, two, or three books. Pero when you have it on your phone, on the cloud, on your on your gadget, you can have like a hundred books with you anywhere you go. Right? So if you're waiting for a dentist, you're on traffic, you're waiting for a friend, instead of just doing unproductive things, you can start reading books na. Buying from Kindle and ebook really saves you a lot of money. Okay? And at the same time, it's not going Unlike new book, physical book, it's going to get destroyed and then mawawala siya. Uh, sa Kindle is if mawawala yung gadget mo, you've bought it forever. Okay? Kasi naka, naka attach sa account mo. Anyways. So, what I usually do, by the way, is I buy the Kindle and the audiobook. Now, the audiobook is optional, okay? So, let's start first. Let's assume muna Now you're not gonna buy the audiobook first. Okay, what, what's an audiobook, by the way? It's like somebody else is reading the book for you. And later on, I'm gonna show you how you can match an audiobook and a Kindle, okay? Pero, for now, let's just use... Kasi you can, you can use Kindle only. You can use audiobook only. Or you can use Kindle and audiobook. Okay. Later on, I'm gonna show you. Um, and and what I do, by the way, is I use Kindle and audiobook. Okay. But before that, I'm gonna give you muna an, an example how to use Kindle itself. So let's say let's go back to my app, and let's say we're gonna read uh, this book, like How to Be a Great Boss. Okay. You're you're gonna see that here. You can see the table of contents. I wanna share you a tip. I also got this from Jerome San. No. Na kasi parang naingit ako. Oh yeah, I, I remember na parang I was amazed by his knowledge and sabi niya na what, what sabi ko what do you do? Sabi niya I read books. Sabi niya wow, I, I need to read books, no. Anyway, sabi niya na Fibo, what you do is you don't read the book right away. Like meron kang 100 books, 10 books. You don't read them like all. Okay. You choose ano yung gusto mong basahin. So sabi niya, you look first sa cover, cover sa back and then you read first the introduction. Because when you read the introduction, so in this case, um, you know, this is like the introduction. When you read the introduction, what happens kasi is you get an overview of what the book is about. Kasi it's kind of like, if, if we read the book kagad, it's kind of like watching a movie without watching the trailer. I'm sure most of you, before you watch a movie, titingnan mo muna yung trailer to, to check if like, is this worth my time watching? Does that make sense? So, that's what's, that's what's happening here. Uh, we want to read the introduction first for us to understand better if it is worth our time ba reading, no? So, after reading, after reading the introduction, what I do is I don't start with chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4. I choose muna, like out of these chapters, ano yung pinaka-interesting? What, what information do I need gagan? Now, think of it this way. Every time you read a book, expect that you're not gonna finish it. Expect that you're not gonna read the entire book. So in this case, sabi nga, going to the Pareto law, na 80-20 rule, no? 80% of the contents would only come from 20% of the book. So ngayon, gagawin mo is hahanapin mo yung 20% 
that gets 80% of the results. Does that make sense? You don't have to read the book to understand everything. You only have to read 20% to get 80% of the of the entire context. Yeah. So now, I, I also want to give you another tip, no? Because how many of you notice na parang when you read one book, hindi mo patapos, and then you want, parang na bore ka, right? Most people kasi, they would want to finish one book first before you proceed to the next, okay? And, and for me, hindi ako ganun. Like, my goal when I read a book is I only want to get one point, one golden nugget. I, I got this from Francis Kong. Sabi niya, when he attends seminars, he only goes there just to get one golden nugget. That's it. He doesn't have to get 10, 10 nuggets, 10 ideas, only one. So, that also applies to me. When I read the book, like, I got one nugget, and then na bore ako. If I want to continue to read, then go ahead. But if, if I'm bored, like, okay, ito, th this is enough. And then I proceed to the next book. Okay, I look at the next book. Kasi, I, I want to make it not as a burden for me. Hindi, hindi siya katulad ng school na talagang tapusin yung buong science book. Uh, kasi if not, babagsak ka. Uh, with regards kasi to reading business books, you're not gonna finish all of the books. I have not seen anyone who was able to read all of the business books, okay? So, understanding that you're not gonna finish all the books uh, makes you at a better place, at a more peace of mind, no? Going back, no, what I do is, you know, I, I, I read one topic, Di ako interested, I proceed to the next. Di ako interested, I proceed to the next. Di ako interested, I proceed to the next. Uy, gusto ko, na-excite ako. And I, I read the book. What usually happens is, I read the introduction, and then I go to chapter 3, and then, maganda chapter 3 ah. I go to chapter 2, tapos sinabi doon na punta sa chapter 8, I read chapter 8. And then based on that, sabi ko, I, I like the book. And that's when I start from chapter 1 and go back. After, like, taking some chapters, like, Uy, gusto ko to, gusto ko to. Parang, okay, I want to understand this even better. So, I'm gonna start from the start. So, that's how I, how I do it. The reason why I share that, now, Fibo, you might, you might be asking, how does that relate to reading faster? I got this from Dan Lok, sabi niya. With regards to reading faster, it's actually by reading less words. Sabi ko, oh, tama. By reading faster, you read less words. Sabi ng 80-20, di ba? So now, if that's the case, all you have to do is go to the point directly yung kailangan mo matutunan and then read that. Kasi if you're gonna notice, most books kasi merong similarities. Okay? Par parehas lang siya. Business book number one. For example, no? Rich Dad Poor Dad. Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. Think and Grow Rich. No? So if, you, if you're gonna notice, you're gonna see the pattern. No? The rich doesn't work for money. Money works for the rich. Mga ganun. Basta mga, there are patterns and similarities eh. So, so in that case, you don't have na, hindi mo kailangan ulit ulitin. Uh, and if you want to, then go ahead. But if you want to find something new, then look for that new thing. So that's number one, no? By reading less. Number two is by, you, you can use your hand, okay? So in this case kasi, is this is what I did before I discovered the audiobook thing. Merong settings kasi nito, wherein you can, you can put your ruler, okay? So, what I do is I turn on continuous scrolling and I also uh, turn on the ruler heading, okay? Ako kasi yung tipong tao na nalilito ako kagad, okay? So, what happens is, like, I read one line tapos I get lost. So, what I do is, uh, what most people do kasi meron silang ruler. Dito kasi merong digital ruler. So, nangyayari is when I read, um, I, I read it line by line by line by line by line by line by line. So now, uh, hindi ako nawawala sa pagbabasa ko. Okay? And what I do as well is, I don't read kaagad. Kasi meron, meron tong chapters, tapos meron ding sub-chapters for each chapter, no? So what I do is, I look for the sub-chapters. In this case, oh, meron siyang sub-chapter. Defining the right people. Tapos, the people analyzer. The defining the right seat, etc. So, Kumbaga, because of that, uh, like, title pa lang ng, ng sub-chapter, alam ko na if it's something na I wanna read, okay? So, that's, like, the other way. Now, the thing that I'm using, ito na, okay? The thing, I, I'm just showing you a couple of options para at least alam nyo din. Um, what I'm using is I'm combining audiobook and Kindle. What I do before is I buy the Kindle first, I check first if I want to read the whole book. If I would want to read the whole book, that's the time I buy the audiobook. Okay, kaya nga say, I, I, just, I just buy the audiobook right away. You might be thinking, grabi naman Fibo, you're, you're, you're buying, if you notice, kasi I have a lot of books here. Okay, you're gonna say, dami mo namang books na binili. 
Like, hindi ba yan sayang sa pera? Now, I'm gonna tell you guys na these books are sold for like 10 to 20 dollars. That's about, sabihin natin, some are cheaper, no? But average, sabihin natin 10 dollars. It's 500 pesos. Guys, are you serious? 500 pesos, titipirin mo yan? Imagine what the author went through to write that book. The author is writing his life experience. The author is writing his personal lessons he learned. And you're only paying 500 to get that information? Isn't that crazy? Nangyari kasi, tingin nyo mahal, kasi you're associating the cost with a book. Ay, libro, mahal. 500 libro. No! It's 500 for that person to shortcut your life, to shortcut your success, to shortcut your learning curve. Does that make sense? So in my case, I treat each and every book as like, wow, um, like it's it's somebody holding me by the hand, telling me, Fibo, ito yung pinagdaanan ko, and then I want to share with you the mistakes I learned so that you don't have to commit the same mistakes. So ngayon, wala akong budget sa libro. Like sometimes pag bored ako, I just go ahead and buy books online, um, buy books in Amazon. Okay, siyempre, pamilya ako kasi sayang naman ako bibilhin ko tapos hindi ko babasahin, di ba? Sa tingin ko, nababasahin ko, bibilhin ko. And then, together with that, I also buy with the, I also buy the audiobook as well uh, dito sa Amazon. So, yun. And, and, eto, eto yung, eto yung mind-blowing. Eto na yung finale, no? So, yung finale nito, when you buy the audiobook, what's gonna happen is you would have the ability na mag-sync yung audiobook tsaka yung Kindle. Okay, so here's an example of how it works. So, okay, one X speed muna tayo. So, so I'm gonna show you an example. Ah. So, watch this. About projecting himself forward in time and then thinking about what theoretically he might regret not having done. Now that is or Bezos, this is now that is one X speed. I'm gonna show you an example on how this audiobook sync would work with Kindle. So watch this. Related risks, since even if he fails, it can't be worse than not having tried it at all. Turns out that Wayne Gretzky, the leading scorer in NHL history, said one more Okay, so if you notice um, somebody else is reading it for me. Okay, so that's 1x speed. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna increase the speed to two times. Okay, so sa akin, mas, uh, at first, medyo nahirapan ako may, uh, for me to understand, but uh, eventually, parang nakuha ko na yung rhythm. So you can start with 1.5. Let's start first with 1.5. So watch this. For timeless thing, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Here's a question that will make this concept clear. At age 89, Warren Buffett is worth $90 billion as of January of 2020. Okay, so if you notice, that's 1.5. We're gonna make 2x, okay? What do you think he was worth at 47 years old? $5 billion? $20 billion? If you like most people, you think it would be at least that much. After all, even though we're talking about a 42 year cap, it makes sense that he'd have to have had a lot of money back then to get to $90 billion today. Okay, so what's gonna happen is, pag bago ka palang parang hindi mo magets, but it's too fast. But it's my way of training myself to read fast. Because somebody else is reading for me, reading it for me fast, diba? So, number one, it increases your comprehension kasi there are like different ways of learning. Eh. Merong visual, tapos merong auditory. So, ang nangyari ngayon, if I'm listening and also watching it, I, get, I have two senses for me na ma, ma, mapupunta siya sa, sa subconscious mind ko. Nagigets ba? Second is, I don't have to exert much effort. Kasi ang nangyayari is, para ako nanonood ng movie, tapos, lagay ko na lang, tapos makikinig lang ako. Okay? And also, get, get to read it as well. So, hindi na magpa-process yung mind ko na babasahin ko ka talaga every single word. Nagigets nyo ba? So, we're, we're, I'm, I'm gonna show you one, one, once more on how um, how I do this para, ma, para makita nyo. Buffett was worth $67 million. How's that even possible? Can't allow to cash enough in order to make up the leap from $67 million to $90 billion, right? So, how did he do it? Buffett did it because he didn't have bad habits and he minimized his regrets. Now, I don't know where Buffett. Maybe he had other regrets that we don't know about. But I do know from all that I've read about him that he's maintained a consistent record of being a decent, fair-minded person. Yeah, so, so, ang mangyayari, talagang matapos ko siya uh, without much effort. Okay? And then two times speed. Yeah, hopefully, meron kayong natutunan. You learned a lot from this video, no? Let me know in the comments below, by the way. Question of the day, what is your biggest takeaway from our content today? Ano yung mga aha moments mo? 
right? Let me know in the comments below and then what are your action steps? Mo? I'm gonna read each and every comment because I wanna connect with you and also have a conversation. By the way, I wanna invite you to my masterclass where I'm gonna walk you through exactly uh, on how do you acquire leads and prospects online and convert them into paying customers without ever talking to them in person. There's a link right here. Go to feebolem.com slash class for you to claim your free seat. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're not yet subscribed to our channel yet, I want you to go ahead, click subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so that every time we publish new videos, you're gonna get notified. Until next time, this is Fibo Lim. Achieve success, live with happiness, and enjoy the good life. See you in our next episode.